table gives information about the prices of cinema tickets. Mr Edwards and his three children go to the cinema. It is cheaper for Mr Edwards to buy one family ticket rather than four separate tickets. How much cheaper? So if Mr Edwards is bringing three children with him, then this means he'll be buying one adult ticket for himself and then three child tickets for the three children. So we can start off by working out how much this will cost. So the price for the four tickets will be £7.80, which is the price for the adult ticket, and then three times by £5.80, which accounts for the three child tickets. And if we put this into our calculator, this gives us an answer of £25.20. Now this is the price of buying four separate tickets. However, we want to work out how much cheaper it is to buy a family ticket. So in order to do this, we'll want to work out the difference between the prices of a family ticket and the prices of the separate tickets. So to do this, we can do £25.20 minus £24.30. And this gives us an answer of 90 pence. And this is our final answer. Now the units in our answer is an important thing to remember for this question, as we'll lose a mark if we don't write our units. Now this question's worth three marks. We'll get our first mark for beginning our method to work out the prices of the four separate tickets. We'll get our second mark for the full method to work out the difference between the two prices. And our third mark for the correct answer with the correct units. The film starts at 6.45pm. The film lasts 102 minutes. What time does the film finish? So the first thing we'll need to know for this question is that 60 minutes is equal to 1 hour. And if this is the case then 102 minutes is equal to 1 hour 42 minutes. And this will be useful when working out the time the film finishes. So if the film starts at 6.45 and it lasts 102 minutes, then it will finish 1 hour and 42 minutes later than 6.45. So the first thing we can do is add an hour onto this time on the left. So after an hour, the time will be 7.45pm and there will be 42 minutes left of the film. So the next thing we can do is add 15 minutes and this will make the time 8 p.m. and if we do 42 minus 15 this tells us that there are 27 minutes left of the film. So now the final thing we can do is add 27 minutes to the time and this tells us that the film finishes at 8 27 p.m. Now this question's worth two marks. We'll get our first mark for understanding and applying that 60 minutes is equal to one hour. And our second mark for the correct answer.